guys, welcome back to another episode of Life with Spike. Today we're getting some winter tires put on the van so we can actually take this thing out because right now I don't have a snowflake on here. So I'm going to illegally pass over one of the passes to get to my location to get some tires put on this van. Yeah, I should be doing it. I should have got it done earlier, but unfortunately I didn't have the cash so I got some cash to put together but now I can safely drive over the pass with this van, take this thing out in the bush, play with it for a little bit before the snow flies and sticks to the ground. Because it's sitting here, it's November 21st. We only got a few days left of the insurance. We're gonna get the insurance on this van put together and hopefully we can insure it as a motorhome so that the contents are insured, meaning that it's got a heater installed, the fridge installed, and all that fun stuff. So hopefully, get that all figured out. So let's take off and get to get out of here. Oh yeah, I only even bought a wind, uh, wheel cover and when I put it on, I somehow just ripped it into, I don't know if it was already ripped or what. So hopefully it's under warranty. We can go get that fixed and replaced before we take off. Well, got my tires on. It's freaking awesome. So happy. So stoked they're actually on. Now I can actually safely travel these roads without worrying about whether I have ice tires on the van and whether I'm going to end up in the ditch because of black ice because it is getting that cold out. So now I'm ready and I'm prepared for the winter to come and the snow to fly. But anyways, decided I'm going to stop, make a cup of tea. I brought some cream and this is the first cup of tea I've made in this van, which is super exciting. I still got my tires, my summer tires, still in the back on my bed. So once I get, once I get home, <clears throat> we'll pop those out, we'll store them for the winter, and we'll be putting, ready to put them back on in the springtime, and we'll take them out and have some fun. Oh, one of the rip bags ripped. Awesome. Oh, that's fine. I don't really care about the bags. It's just nice when you're putting it in the back seat of the car. Those bags are awesome. I got some spice rack, spice containers. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with them yet. I was thinking of building a little shelf somewhere. I see that those are ready to go in the van. Bought a little bag full of them. I even found some bigger ones too, so that's kind of cool. I just don't like the name of it. <laughs> I could have chose any other name besides that one name. And it would have been so much better. So we're just going to put this away for now. Make a cup of tea. And then we'll hit the road again. Ready to get this thing packed and ready to go. We can hit the bush, go actually start a campfire because it's been a long time since I had a campfire. Fire bands here at BC. 
So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for coming along with my little tire adventure. I know it's like kind of quick, but uh, I thought I'd give you guys a little update. I haven't posted anything in like a week and two days. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next episode. Hopefully, we'll actually see something more interesting than me building my van. Remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on the video down below, and leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and we'll see you guys next time.